Hi, Francesca. Hello. <laughs> how are you? I'm good. How are you? Fine. Thank you. First of all, I have to say that you look amazing. So do you. Look at you. Thank so you. Great. Okay. First of all, Francesca, I can't even begin to explain you how people love you and how many fans you have. You're so popular here. You know that? Really? That's amazing. I love that. You know Israel, actually? I've never been. No. I've never been. You have to. I know. When this virus is all over, I'm going to be traveling everywhere. You get a lot of uh, direct message from Israel? Yeah, I get a lot of people commenting on my photo from Israel for sure. And I always like respond back with like the flag because like I love the support. You get more, more message from girls or boys? Both. It's actually both. Do you believe that your sudden rise in popularity have made you more intimidating for men? Yeah, but I think guys still like shoot their shot. They still message me and try, which I think is really flattering. Like I, when a guy tries, like, I think it's like brave and it's cute. So it's definitely, it's, it's changed a little bit since the show, but it's just been really humbling. I think all the fans, like I love like how nice everyone is and how loyal everyone is. Okay. I have to ask, what is the weirdest message you have ever received on Instagram? I get a lot of marriage proposals, like people like proposing for marriage. <laughs> I, get a, I get a lot of those. Like people are very serious. They're like, please, like I'll marry you right now. Like I get, I think that, those are the weirdest ones. Or people just send me like selfies and... You have weird offers maybe? Yeah, there's a lot of offers. People try to like get me to go visit them or they want to come visit me, but... Yeah, oh, they're awful, like, crazy money for, like, a phone call. Okay, maybe there is someone that uh, take your attention from the direct message. Maybe. Maybe. You know that I have, I had a boyfriend that I meet him from the direct message, you know. Really? Yes. Yeah, like, if, if the person has a lot of followers and they message me, I can usually see that because it goes to the top. But... That's the only time I really like see that see them. You have to tell me you have to tell me more about what guy needs to do to pick your uh, interest. Um, I don't know. It depends if they're like seeing me in person or seeing me online. He's look like a uh, uh, really important for you. Um, no, no, obviously not look at my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Francesca, we saw you had quit a few encounters with women. Can you tell us more about your attraction toward women? <laughs> <laughs> um, like after the breakup with Harry, I think I just kind of decided that I was going to try dating girls for a bit. Um, I'm still doing it, like casually, but I'm kind of like, scared of relationships right now because of what happened and because Why? of what's happening so i'm just a little bit traumatized you know but i think you i think you can go with whatever you want for sure yeah it's just scary when like you think you know someone but you you really don't so that's like the hard part i feel like you ha I have to be more careful with who i trust do you believe that fame made you and Harry break up? For him, yeah. That was because uh, every, you, you were everywhere, you have picture everywhere. Do you think it's connect? I think, in my opinion, he cared about the fame a lot more than I did. So I think, in my opinion, it played a role for him, but for me, it didn't really affect me. So. I don't know. It's, there was a lot more that went on with the breakup than what was shown. But I think, yeah, like fame and stuff, I think it can change people. Do you think you, you change? Me, no. Uh, Harry has removed your matching tattoo. Are you intending to keep yours? Yeah, I'm going to keep mine. I have to tell you that this tattoo, you, you, saw, you see my tattoo? <laughs> I did it with my ex-boyfriend. He removed the tattoo and I'm still with my tattoo. 
<laughs> oh my god boys but- are awful like they are so mean i would never like i've thought about it more recently about getting it taken off just because of everything that's been happening like recently but it's like at the end of the day it's a memory of my whole experience on the show and everything i went through and at this point it just is a reminder to stay strong and to be careful and not trust everyone and to be cautious but like don't let that stop you from following what you want to do so it's like a, just a reminder of the whole experience i think i would never get it removed i it's not something i want to erase completely out of my life so it seemed that you were lovers you were so perfect the, the distance caused a lot of arguments i think not being able to be be with each other you kind of fight but i mean if if you love someone no matter how much you fight you're not going to you're not going to give up yes you're right so for me i would have never given up but for him he just wanted to be single Okay, you did some interviews, but you talk each other in this period? No, we haven't spoken. Nothing, Nothing. Francesca? Nothing. You know, ex send message a little bit, you know, in the night when you drank? No, he, he blocked me. I'm blocked on everything. He blocked you? The moment I released my breakup video, I was blocked off everything, yeah. And you blocked, and you blocked him uh, back? I blocked his friends, yeah. The worst... The worst breakup you could possibly ever imagine and it's so public so it's I think his behavior a little bit childy I don't know he's a child I mean there's there things could have been handled in a different way and when someone in the other person or whatever is only out for themselves and for attention then it goes a certain way. Because all they want is attention, so it doesn't really matter how they get it. They just want it. So it came at the expense of someone being mean. But sometimes I watch videos and I just cry and I'm like, this is so sad because it was like an amazing time in my life. And now I look back on it and I just just feel sad, you know. I guess you have friends that they are your friend and his friend. So what do they think about this situation? Both of our friends? Yeah. Um, people are usually always on my side. <laughs> I'm in your side, Francesca. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now that you have gained so much popularity, what do you intend to do next? Um, I just want to make money and grow my businesses and start new businesses and buy a house and get more dogs and be with people that I care about and focus on like myself. Like I think after the breakup, I was having a lot of fun and like going out with friends and meeting new people and like going on dates. But I, at the end of the day, like I just want to focus on myself. You want now a boyfriend or you want to be in a, with... I mean, ideally, like I would love to have a boyfriend, but I genuinely thought that Harry and I were going to get married. So <sighs> it's hard to like go from th- thinking that in your brain like a month and a bit ago to everything being like ripped away from you like so crazily. So I think I'm cool with being single. Like... I would love to have a boyfriend, but I don't trust boys anymore. Francesca, you know that you know that new boyfriend are making you forget about the last one. Yeah, or a new girlfriend, who knows? Or a new girlfriend. <laughs> mm-hmm. What do you think will be the next one? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So f- Francesca, we're talking about your popularity and we've noticed that you've created your own brands. Go to bring something from your collection to to show us. Do you want to put it on? Yeah. (laughs) Okay, I'm wearing it. Wow. It's cute, right? Wow, Francesca, it's perfect. You designed it by yourself? Yeah. I can't believe. Oh my God. What is the price of this piece? Um, I think they're like 140 USD for both. You want to say something for the Israelis who are watching us right now? 
I want to say thank you guys so much for all of your support and I love you guys so much. And when I come down to visit, I hope you guys can all come meet me somewhere. Yeah. And I just love all the support and I love all the fans and you guys are amazing. Yeah.